Be sure to watch our previous video when we got on the Norwegian Epic. We started out in San Juan, Puerto Rico, toured the city, visited the Bacardi Rum Factory, first port on the ship was Aruba, and then Curacao, and now we are in Bonaire. Welcome to Passports. Okay, here we are in Bonaire. Oh, it's cute getting off this ship. My first impression of Bonaire is that I love it and it feels Caribbean y, yes. nothing like the other two. I know. Let's see what the island tour brings us. Let's find our tour. Best of Bonaire, since you only get three and a half hours here and you come in in the morning, which is kind of nice. Um, so we're going to find our tour, our Best of Bonaire tour. Best of Bonaire? Yes, two of you? Yes. Two of us. Okay, yeah. Where go through there? Here in the blue shirts. So. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. How are you? Best of Bonaire? Good, yes, Good thank you. you. Yes. Waiting on anybody else? Uh, not in our party. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I, can. I can? Yes. Sit in the front? Yes. Oh my god. I'm so excited. So the cruise ships only spend a half a day in Bonaire. So we opted to get the most for our money and we did the best of Bonaire tour, which was a really nice tour, but it was very long. It was three and a half hours long, uh, but it covered the salt flats, the slave quarters, the caves, uh, a national park, plus uh, the coral coastline. And it ran $80 per person. This is the slave quarters. This is a really nice tour and I think I love this island. Oh my God, I love it so much so far. We really saw everything that that island offers on that tour. The salt flats were amazing and they're a huge portion of the island. Be sure to bring a little baggie because you get to take some salt home if you want. The south of the island is the area that hosts the famous salt flats. Oh, you can touch the salt. They've been operating since 1997 and they're known for producing some of the purest salts in the world. Bonaire Salt Flat is also the home to the Flamingo Sanctuary, which is a government protected nesting area for the flamingos. We don't have slums here. Everybody has a house. And a house for us is a house with a garden around it. If you see apartment buildings and things like that, tourist. We have a house with a garden. If you can't afford it, government will provide you with one. And the road we are turning into, it's called Tourist Road. Uh, it's made with money of the European community and this road is really very nice. And also, it's all coral and limestone and if you look carefully you can still see the shells and the coral in it. Also here, there's a stair going down. It's called a thousand steps. It's a dive site because here you can go in and out of the water. Also, the structure you see on the right hand side is an oven or kiln from the old times. In it, they used to burn the coral. Tons and tons of coral. That's what this whole coastline is all coral. very different from Aruba and very different from uh, Curacao which had more of a Cayman Island vibe like you were kind of in America or in the Netherlands. This island feels like you're in the Caribbean. It's so beautiful.
at the National Park Sanctuary. Okay, so <laughs> very interesting in this country. This means the men's room. There's a resemblance there of something. And this toilet is the female with the flowers. From the for entrance for a car to come into the park, it's forty-five dollars. And that includes snorkeling and everything all over the island. And you can buy those tickets online. So that's a pretty reasonable price. When our tour ended, we got dropped back off near the cruise port, which is also the area where there's a really cute little downtown area. This town is lovely. I love this place. We enjoyed walking around and exploring before we headed back to the ship. There's a boat coming back from probably snorkeling. This island is known for its diving. It's supposed to be unbelievable. The water is so clear here. This is the line to get back to the ship. This has been the only port that it's been this busy. Be sure to watch next week when I do a full ship review on the Norwegian Epic. And then there's our other stops, St. Lucia and St. Kitts. Thanks for watching. Hey, check out our merch store with our logo and cool travel designs. All of our clothes are made with 100% cotton or organic cotton. All colors and sizes. Tees, tanks, hoodies, and more. Along with accessories like mugs, glasses, cell phone cases, and masks. Please support our channel and get some cool merch. Store link in the description.